cuties. Who you think? The Faction Prodigy 2.0. They, uh, they're really sweet. So these are 183. So <laughs> these are... <laughs> Super, super fun ski for Norway. It's actually perfect for these conditions. This is more serious than some of the their CT line because it really is hard charging, absolutely. Um, it definitely doesn't like to go slow. It wants to go fast. At a 98 underfoot, if you're in the east, this is probably your all mountain ski. Here in uh, the west, this might be your front side ski, but it was so, so fun. However, this ski is flawless. If you are a skier that likes to get on your edge, likes to drive the ski, this is a very responsive, reactive ski. It does take some input and some drive. From Probably for the skier that's a little bit more conventional in his ski style and not really a ski for somebody who likes to put a lot of angulation in a ski. This is, a, if you're skiing upright, uh, a la Blizzard Rustler with a little bit more beef to it though, considerably more beef. Um, but still, uh, if you're skiing more upright and less at an angle, this ski performs a bit better. It likes to, for you to be standing up and, and pivoting a turn rather than always arcing and carving a turn. Uh, obviously they're a little bit long for me or longer than I would normally ski, but uh, they're like rockets. What I found that I really liked about these is um, transitioning from turn to turn was so smooth. Like it just, smooth is just the, like the word that kept coming to mind, like butter. This ski was probably a little bit more demanding than some of their other skis in terms of it wants to go fast. The ski is lovely. Here I go again with the lovely, oh my God. <laughs> An enigma wrapped in a question mark. Is that how it goes? <laughs> It's just, um, so, uh, Faction 2.0, uh, a ski that, uh, you know, we've been skiing on it trying to figure it out. This ski needs input. If you put that energy into it, it will deliver. So in a ski like this, the Faction Prodigy 2.0, for me and my style of skiing, my height and weight, I'm 5'6", 160 to 165 pounds. This was uh, 184. Because the ski is so powerful, quite stiff and a long turning radius, this is something that I would want to go probably down a size to like the 177. I think that would be the sweet spot for me. 184, I really, really had to push to get over it, but I think that 177, it would just be that all mountain ski for me. Now, we've been playing with the mount point on it because we're lucky enough to have a demo binding and we can kind of play with the mount forward and back. And so we've been skiing on this ski um, at, its, at the manufacturer's recommended um, position. And it kind of has a lot of tail. Um, not a kind of ski that slides a tail like most everything that we've tested. Centimeter. A centimeter makes all the difference. Like day and night and night and day on the performance of the ski. Truly a different ski with that repositioning of the binding, enable, enabling you to get on the ski much easier than before, uh, more compatible to your style. Then all of a sudden the skis, I find more fun to ski. Uh, there's a little bit more, ta a little bit more, more front, a little less tail. The ski can skid a turn a little bit, um, quite playful, uh, a lot more fun, I find, when the ski is mounted a little back. Uh, and then you have a little less, less tail and the ski uh, skids a turn a bit better. You know, really nice transition through turns and, you know, taking some steep, a um, little bit icy conditions today. And I felt so comfortable. Um, absolutely not a qualm going going pretty, pretty quick on these. And yeah, they felt really nice, really stable. And uh, I really quite enjoyed these today at Norquay.